Once I wished on a star and it flew in my window cup blue. Now I can have any wish I want, but only once a week. Yo, baby! Wishing's what I like. Have you ever been blamed for something you didn't do? It happens to me all the time. But today, I'm gonna do something about it. And school will never be the same. Help! I'm the victim of an elementary school chemistry experiment gone mad. Nicholas McClary, you're going to be the victim of an elementary school teacher getting mad if you don't stop clowning around. Sorry, Mrs. Kimberly. All right, class. Form into groups and see if you can repeat the experiment I just showed you. Let's see. First, we take some hydrogen peroxide. I know a much better experiment. Instead of making ordinary bubbles, we can make super bubble gum. Super trouble is more like it. Why do you always have to do this crazy stuff while you're standing next to me? Because you're my best friend. Don't worry, I know exactly what I'm doing. Hmm. Looks like McClary is cooking up one of his bozo experiments again. Only this time, it's gonna backfire. Hey, McClary, your shoes are on backwards. They are not. <laughs> <laughs> what a jerk! Never mind him. One more chemical in my super gum will be ready for some monster bubble blowing. Huh? It's multiplying! Quick, help me get it back in the jar! No way! It's out of control! Oh no! This is Kimberly Lunn! McClary's at it again! Nicholas! You're coming with me to the principal's office. No! It's not my fault. I've been slimed by this slime bag. <laughs> but I'm innocent. Now, don't lie to me, Nick. I've spent too many years trying to keep my students safe from kids like you who want to blow up the school. But... I'm afraid I'm going to have to call your parents. Terrific. I'm going to get grounded for life. Without possibility of parole. Francis Duttweiler goose up my experiment, and I get in trouble. Isn't there any justice? Guess not. Boy, if I was principal, I'd sure run things differently. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why not? It'll solve all my problems. <laughs> I wish I was principal. I wish I was principal. I wish I was principal. Tires? <clears throat> Hello, um, Miss Mancuso? Yes, sir? Um, I'm not going to make it to school on time. You'll have to call in a substitute principal. Whoa! I want Nick McClary to take over for the day. Nick McClary? There's something wrong with my mouth. What I meant to say was have Nick McClary take over for me. And don't ask any more questions! Hmm. These lips have a mind of their own. Hello? 
This is Miss Mancuso. Can I speak to Principal McClary, please? I'm afraid you've got the wrong number, Miss Mancuso. I'll take it. Hello? Nicholas McClary, please come to school immediately. You're to be principal for the day. We're on schedule. Outstanding. Nick, what are you all dressed up for? Uh, I've learned my lesson. Yesterday, I was irresponsible. Today, I'm on my best behavior. I shouldn't live so long. Gotta run. Bye, Katie. Bye, bye. Bye, bye Mom. Mwah. What about your breakfast? You'd be the Grand Marshal, Francis. Oh. Nobody. I mean, nobody calls me Francis! Mr. Principal? I don't see no principal. You're wanted in the staff meeting, Mr. Principal. I'll be right there, Miss Mancuso. <laughs> You're on my list. Francis. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mrs. Kimberly. Nick, you're late. Oh, Mrs. Kimberly, I... No excuses. Take your seat. My seat is in the principal's office. If that's how you want it, you can go to the principal's office right now. But I am the principal. Don't you make fun with me, Nick McClary. I forgot to ask you, Mr. Principal. Do you like your coffee black or with cream and sugar? Forget the coffee. I'll have root beer. Yes, sir. You were saying? <clears throat> Glass, open your arithmetic books. We're going to have a pop quiz. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're not. As long as I'm principal, school's gonna be a lot more fun. We're gonna do what kids want to do, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, please take your seat, Mrs. Kimberly. <laughs> Not that seat, your new seat. <laughs> We're going to have a substitute teacher today, and you're it, Daryl. Me? I don't want to get involved in another one of your crazy wishes. Is that any way to talk to your principal, Mr. Substitute Teacher? Oh, all right. But what do I teach? Uh, where do you want these video games, Mr. Principal? Leave them right there. You're gonna teach the fine art of advanced video game techniques. And I'm gonna teach that hindsight principal who's boss! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. McClory! Mr. McClory! Frankie shot a spitball at me! What? Is this yours? Yeah! Now how about taking me to the principal's office so I can paddle you? <laughs> Shooting spitwads is against the rules, Mr. Duttweiler. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to discipline you. This I gotta see. Class, I want you to write Mr. Duttweiler's name on the blackboard 100 times. Hey, Burrito Brain! I think you got this punishment stuff backwards. I don't think so. Francis! 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 Ah! And if you bounce on the turtle's back three times, he'll spit out the key to the dungeon treasure chamber. Uh, Mr. Principal, we've got an emergency. What is it? See for yourself. There's a dog in the school. Bad dog, Slobber. You're not supposed to be in school. Go home. You're right, Miss Mancuso. This is a problem. And I know just what to do. Take Slobber and round up all the stray dogs in the neighborhood and bring them to school. What for? To give them an obedience class so they'll learn not to come to school anymore. Whatever you say, Mr. Principal. Slobber? Slobber! Little 
Why do I always have to run out in the middle of my writing to find that stupid mutt? Oh, wow. Huh? Oh, what? What in the world is that woman doing with Slobber? There might be a news story here. Come on, Katie. We've got some detective work to do. Dogs in school? This is getting weirder all the time. you go? Don't you think you're taking this principal wish a little too far, Nick? Why? Recess every hour? Tests for teachers? If you think that's fun, check out this new game I invented. I call it Power Tetherball. The first one to hit this button starts the plane engine. Seems simple enough. Get ready, get set, go for it! Oh! Uh. I win! Come on, Katie? What's she doing here? She wouldn't be here without...